Good morning, everybody. Um, I was studying for the uh, dynamic linking, and I thought some of these notes that I wrote might uh, help somewhat, so I'd like to share them with you. Um, let's first get familiar with some terminology. Um, we get BLT, which is the procedure linker table, linkage table, sorry. You get the, uh, also there's BLT function here. And you got the global offset table, GOT. And you get the resolver or BLT resolver. We're just going to call it resolver for simplicity. Then you get the relocatable data section. This is, we get to it like later, but it's not the most important thing. So, <clears throat> One way to, th to think about this, um, also I would, I would like to um, bring to your attention that it's better, this is just an intro, uh, but it's better to actually look at the, the slides, the lecture slides, because they will have like more uh, realistic output and addresses and stuff like that, that, that probably will be something like, something that you, you might see in the exam, but this probably, what I'm doing here is just for sake of simplicity. Okay, <clears throat> so let's look at this. We'll be talking about uh, six parts of the binary or the, the executable, or the both shared uh, sh uh, shared library and the executable. Um, we get our code in this section, and then we get something called BLT uh, table. All right, <clears throat> it's part of the BLT section. And then we get a BLT function here. We'll talk about all of this, them, um, all of these, um, when we get to them. And then you get the resolver, or the relocatable data, and then you get the GOT, okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, <clears throat> first, we have three stage, uh, stages. One, when, when, when we have the loader, well, basically, when we load the program, and then when we call the function first time, and then the third, the third basically thing we look at when we call the function again. Okay, keep those in mind. <laughs> so, when we have the loader the first time, what the loader um, will uh, uh, basically um, the GOT entry here, the GOT table has has many addresses, <clears throat> right? Equivalent to the one that you find in BLT. But basically when you load the program, the loader will, will just fill this RO, the third entry with the with resolver address. And we'll see why, why that is the case, right? I'll just point to the address of the resolver, okay? This is the first thing. I think in the, in the lecture, it was, this, this was like all zeros kind of threw me off but but then um but then it was clarified that it, the loader will, will, will write the, the address of r okay um <clears throat> don't worry about those p's we'll get into them so so this is the first stage when what the loader will do and relating to to our case got here and then let's, let's try to call our function the first time so uh, when when you execute this code, it will just go to the E entry, right? In the BLT table. So this BLT table have so many entries. Um, I believe it's for every function maybe that um, that's dynamically linked or loaded. Um, yeah. So what what this function does? It actually the linker had hard coded. A relating um, a position or, or an address space for not address space like a uh, reserved a a spot on the in in the GOT um, table for it right so it knows where is that's its entry offset because this is an entry I just call this an uh, entry offset um, it knows where it is and it just loads it in x16 okay um, what it will do after that basically it will just um, it will load that value from inside that offset, which is turns out to be that just the BLT function. It loads that B in and puts it in, in X17, right? And then after that, just says, hey, go jump to whatever you see here. Okay. 
So it goes and it jumps to uh, this address B. Now, remember that we call this function with x16 uh, equals e0, and then x17p. Uh, All right? These are the two functions. Uh, these are the two values of the registers. Okay? Now, what the BLT function will do, <clears throat> basically, it stores the x16 that we gave it. Basically, it's like, hey, your colors, your colors um, offset in the global table is this. Store it on the stack. We're going to use it later, right? Whoever called me, whoever calls uh, this BLT function, the value of x16, which represents the caller's offset into the GOT table, right? So it stores that on the stack, and then it goes it goes ahead and just overwrites the basically B B seventeen, uh, sorry X seventeen register, right? Um, so basically, what it will do it says, hey, um, the, these all of these are hard coded by by the linker, so it says, I'm gonna have the resolver's offset in a global uh, in, in a GOT. I'm gonna store it in X sixteen, and I'm also gonna load the value of uh the the address of the reg of the resolver function into into my r of, um, of in my x17 right so basically like we did it earlier you take this here all right like here we just did it here right and then we load what's inside here for this one we will do uh the same thing we'll just go to the value of this one which is the r0 and then it takes this value and just like puts it here right all right, we made a miss, but hopefully this is to clear things up. Okay. Now, what the code, if you see the, the code in the slides, the, the prof um, shared, um, it will just go to whatever in X17. And in our case, it's just R. So what we go do and just call the resolver. The resolver is a linker function. Mm. And then it will just use some information okay um from the locatable table uh this is just have a lot of um uh, a lot of like offsets some like types whatever arm lowest 12 bits like to edit the binary basically and then functions or string or data that should be replaced with okay it will just basically the resolver will use this to to to, to do some some of the stuff but we'll get to it um remember that when this is called, it still sees in its stack the E0, right? So now you can see the full picture. Uh, this is the caller, right? It passes sort of its entry in the GOT to the BLT function, and the BLT function in its turn, it just stored it in a stack, and then passes the resolver. This seemed to me it's like a black box. I don't really know what it, what it does, but, um, but it seemed to be like it reads this value from the stack, the e the e zero, and then try to match it in the loca locatable here, and then it sees this function, and then it goes like, okay, I'm gonna write, um, I'm gonna modify uh, whatever I see in the e zero, uh, in the e o uh, into offset in the global table or that address whatever, and then I'm just gonna place it in function. So it goes here, it finds it, and then it says, okay. We're not gonna go to the uh, BLT function anymore. We're gonna just go to the func. Okay. Now, you see how the whole thing goes. It's interesting. Okay. So now this is the first call is done. All right. Now let's see when we what we do when we call it again. So I'm just gonna use a different color. So when you call the first the, the second time, it goes same old path, it goes to this entry, and then it looks here and says, like, okay, I know where my entry is on the on the global table on the GOT. I know where's my offset. And here I'm just gonna load, I'm gonna use that offset and I'm gonna load its um its value into 17. So it goes here, it says, Oh, it doesn't matter, right? Like it, it doesn't know that it's changed or whatever, but it just says Okay, I'm gonna load this function into, I'm gonna load this address into uh, x17. And then that just become fun. And then after that, it just jumps to whatever 
the the function func is right <clears throat> it could be in another shared i think uh, lib or something dll or the so shared object and basically it will just call so the first time it has to do the resolving all this big mess and then after that it will just become like it just knows um where to go directly because because its value here uh, has been overwritten so initially we had all of these to go into blt right uh, initially and then blt because it knows where to change what value to change what basically sorry what entry to change in the global um got it goes and just change it resolves it gets more information it go change uh it goes and updates this um one one small one small tip here usually when you see addresses in this since we're using arm uh in the got usually the addresses are, uh, are little indian so j just be aware of that because sometimes you start looking for r and it's let's say five three two one or something <laughs> then when you look at the addresses you just like whatever like you know two um two one five three maybe so it it, it could be it could be it could, it could throw you off the, if the numbers are very close well thank you so much and good luck with your finals